the last time I tried it almost two years ago, March 2020. My hair is a joke. Bridesmaid, like a maid, what are they gonna do? Like wipe my ass for me, I don't know. Look what's just arrived. Right, let's talk about my wedding dress. Look at the shine on her. Good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, the 27th of January, wow. Let me just start this vlog by telling you how fucking exciting I am. Excited <laughs> that this month is close to an end because let me tell you, I'm sick of it. I know that I started the last vlog with this attitude, but I just can't, I can't cope with how hard work it's felt getting through it. Abysmal. How can the sky be that gray that it's just so obviously gray? I'm currently on my way to drop the boys off to a lovely lady who looks after them. I sounded so Welsh then. A lovely lady. She looks after them, doesn't she boys? I'm dropping them off this morning because today David's in the office. I think David was in the office last time. Yeah, he was. Mm, let me go. I am going to try my wedding dress. And just to keep it real with you, this morning I wanted to, in the head, smash him in the face. <laughs> I just wanted to knock him out because he was really annoying. Got mixed feelings about trying my wedding dress on for a couple of reasons and him doing my nutting has just topped it off. I don't think it's gonna fit. The last time I tried it almost two years ago, March 2020, I remember it so clearly. Cheska, um, who, if you are new here, are you new here? Yeah. My maid of honor came up from London and, oh, for God's sake, it's the worst road in the whole of Somerset. And we went to my seamstress, Connie, to try it on and it literally looked like it was carved for my body. This dress was like carved for my body, it fit perfectly. Obviously, in those two years, I've put on weight, my body's changed, because that's what bodies do, and I don't think this dress is gonna fit me anymore. Don't know what I'm gonna do about it. I'm planning to cross that bridge when we get to it. The bridge is coming up today. <laughs> it's 10 to eight at the moment, so I'm gonna drop the boys off, and then I've got PT at 10 and then I will um, try and make myself look relatively presentable. If I've got a little bit of lipstick on, it might save me, you know? And then this evening, um, Dan and I are driving to London, or Dan's driving to London, because we are going to film the last two episodes of Filter Drop series. Which if you haven't seen the first episode, I will link it below. The response was absolutely unbelievable. Like could not believe what happened. So yeah, I'm over the moon with it. I'm so thrilled with how it went. And I can't wait to post the other episodes because I have some amazing guests lined up. So yeah. Someone's testing me today. Someone is definitely testing me because this morning has just been fucking shit. I have PT in 15 minutes. It just, it's been a lot this morning. There's been a lot going on. I'm stressed, I have a lot to do. I'm sick of always leaving stuff at the last minute, but I feel like it was set up to be a shit day, but I've changed my mindset and I'm like, I'm not letting it be a shit day. Like this is gonna have to work somehow. We're gonna have to have a good day. Gonna go to PT, burn off all the energy. Let's drink this, my hair. Can you, can you even cope with that? Can't even fully see it. My hair is a joke. Well, it was either do my hair or put some makeup on and I opted for makeup. Bloody hell. 15 minutes to make myself feel a bit better than I do. I felt a bit flat during personal training today and um, I think it knocked me a bit. I think I definitely am feeling more apprehensive about trying on this wedding dress than I'm letting on. And I keep trying to do this whole like, you know, it's fine, don't get stressed, what will be will be. But actually, I think it's just quite overwhelming knowing that I'm getting married in four months when we've had like four years to plan it, but those four years haven't really been, sorry, the last two years haven't really been normal years have they like it's been so mental it's taken me a long time but i'm i'm actually happy with 
with who I am now and my body is not, you know, how my body looks isn't that, it's not the same pressure that I had before. Um, and I don't want to be putting myself in a position where I have to fit into a, who's ringing me? Ah, oh, thank you so much, ma'am. Well, it makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, and then what, you just come straight here and then we'll go. Yeah. You know, I don't want this pressure to fit into a dress. Like, this last week, or these last two weeks, I've really sort of felt a difference in my body when I'm, when I'm training. I'm feeling really strong. I'm feeling so much fitter. And that alone is making me feel amazing. And, like, I'd rather continue focusing on how I feel. You wouldn't think I was in a fucking rush with you the way I'm piss assing around here. When we were due to get married in 2020, I remember thinking, I'm not entirely sure if I'm ready for the, for this. And that I would happily now admit that I think elements of the wedding excited me more than the thought of being married to someone. And that's just kind of like my own issues around marriage and stuff. And I feel like I've really worked through that and now we're left with the same wedding and the same people coming. And I feel differently entirely about marrying David because now I care so much and have so much value on the fact that we're gonna become husband and wife. And I think, you know, all of those things just add to the... Why is my face so fucking furry? I don't know how else to, to describe it other than saying I just feel so differently about everything now and the wedding is one of those things. Sometimes you just, what's this? <gasps> Look what's just arrived. I think these are the new Vive lipsticks. Oh, what a day, I'm gonna pop one on. Just in case you're all sat here thinking this is like a love bite, I burnt myself on the GHD Curve Bar. I've mentioned it on my Instagram like every single day because I don't want anyone to think it's anything other than. Yeah, what other wedding updates do I have for you? Um, oh, I don't have bridesmaids anymore. <laughs> Uh, another thing that was kind of stressing me out was my opinion on bridesmaids and bridesmaids, bridesmaids dresses and stuff had, has just like changed and the thought of putting all four of them in the same dress and hoping everyone's happy and comfortable and having these like, I don't know, like bridesmaid, like a maid, what are they meant to do, like wipe my ass for me, I don't know, like my opinion on it has just changed and I was finding myself getting so stressed thinking about unimportant things, one of them being how my bridesmaids feel at every single opportunity, whether that's like, is planning the hen too stressful? Is like, are they all financially able to even come? Like, I don't want them to feel pressured that they can't, that they have to come, like if they can't afford to come, like basically you name it, I was worrying about it. And just to eliminate that worry, I said to all of them, I was like, look, it changes nothing between us. Um, I love you all the same, but I, just want you to turn up on the day, enjoy yourself, wear whatever you wanna wear. You know, if at some point during the day I said it would be like one of those four that I'd say, oh, could you go and grab this for me? You're not gonna turn around and be like, no, because I'm not your bridesmaid. Like, it's just not like that anymore. And I feel like, especially as I've got older, my opinions on stuff like that has changed. There's so many things about the wedding that I would um, change if I could. I've just become, my knowledge on feminism has increased massively throughout the pandemic, um, which is something I'm like really proud of. I was really ignorant to it before. This is the worst packaging in the world. You know, like when you were younger, like the highlight of your weekend was like getting ready with your mates, like all sitting in the same room and getting ready. That gives me severe anxiety, like the thought of it. I just love getting ready on my own. Minimal noise around me, minimal people around me. And I just realized like there's so many weird traditions about a wedding that I'm just not into anymore. And having all of them there with their shit everywhere. Like I wouldn't like that on a normal day. So why would I like that on my wedding day? But all of the girls are gonna come, are gonna have breakfast in the morning together, which will be lovely. Even like in the last couple of days, I've been thinking, why do we have to spend the bloody night apart? And I feel like that's just complete testament to our friendships because they were fine, like they totally understood. And I said to them, like, this isn't a personal thing. It's that I have just, I am stressing myself out so much about all these different things. If I just take you guys out of that like position or whatever it is, like this weird status thing, then it relieves my stress. 
it's not nice saying to your bridesmaids like oh by the way i've changed my mind like and i kind of i guess i was obviously worried about how they were going to take it because i would never ever want to upset any of them but at the same time it was something that i decided would would make me feel better and it's my wedding day so that's what you have to do um so yeah if you've ever been in that position where you feel like you want to do something but you feel like you can't or you feel like you've got no option like you always do sorry but this powder is so underrated it's the beauty pie the loose setting powder i love it so much right let's have a quick look inside of these look at that imagery they just nail it every single time how gorgeous is that Cherub's Kiss, the perfect romantic pink, inspired by Vive Sunset Blush. Pinch, just like the name, a pink, a mix between pink and peach. Should we go for that today? Pinch. Oh yes, gorgeous. Oh, it smells so nice. Just because I know this works, I'm gonna go in with my Rimmel Cappuccino for today. That is such a gorgeous colour. Gloss, I'm going to go in with the Clarins Natural Lip Perfector in the shade. This isn't a makeup tutorial, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm really liking this bright. It's giving me spring vibes, it's not giving me grey in the sky vibes. We're done. Wish me luck. See you in Bath. Oh, what a day. I went for my dress fitting and I could, obviously I couldn't film any of it. So I thought, oh, I'll just film and update you when I get home. And then the whole afternoon has been a massive rush as per usual and I've just finished packing. I've got everything by the door ready here. Hey baby darling. Got everything packed by the door and now I'm just waiting for Dan to pick me up. And yeah, it's been stress. Maybe I'll update you when I get to London because maybe I won't even post this vlog again. Who knows? Good evening. I'm at the flat, I'm in London. I've, um, it's been a bit of a day, but I'm in London now at the flat. And then, yeah, I just wanna get an early night because we have a long day tomorrow. See you in the morning. New energy, new day, new energy, it's Friday. Good morning, everybody. You can't see it, but the sun is out. There is a blue sky today and I do feel a different energy. I slept like an absolute log last night and that's the first time in the flat that I've slept slept like that. I ordered one of those, they're like, they're not a mattress topper in terms of like a memory foam one, but they're about that thick. Almost like putting a duvet on top. Anyway, I ordered one of them on Amazon and then when I turned up yesterday, I realised that I already had a form of a thick mattress topper so i've basically got two so the thickness of the mattress topper is about like that thick divine and i bought a new bed sheet from next um and managed to wash it and dry it in time yesterday and obviously i i bring my own bedding down every time that i stay or not every time like i'm down next saturday for a few nights so i'll keep this bedding on for then and then i'll take this bedding home and then i'll wash it and then the next time i come down i'll bring fresh bedding and make the bed up again just having those little comforts make me feel better and i think that's helping me to sleep like that's what's helped me sleep well last night anyway by the way this is like this isn't grease on the top of my head this is the matte pomade from yesterday but my hair's going slick back in a ponytail today as well so it doesn't really matter there's going to be more put on there right let's talk about my wedding dress so i went with the attitude that it i knew that it wasn't going to fit me also alongside those things i'm very happy and i have a new level of love and appreciation for my body regardless of its size i feel like i've gone up a notch in like self-love as wanky as that sounds so i was going with the opinion of it's not gonna fit and i don't know what i'm gonna do like what if i don't like it anymore um how you know what are the options here like my mum bought my dress for me which is obviously absolutely lush so there's that to consider it's not a wedding dress isn't cheap anyway when we turned up i looked at the dress hung up and i was like oh fucking hell like i remember why i love it 
And then I put it on and um, as I expected, it, it didn't fit. But it didn't not fit as much as I was expecting. It was just the gap at the back where the zip goes up and the gap was like, maybe like that. I kind of sort of was thinking out loud and thinking like, what are my options here type thing. I'm confident in my body. It, my body no longer defines me or takes up space, but I am wanting to regain my fitness back, regain some, um, what's the word? I miss how toned my body looked. And if my body looks toned in two dress sizes up, fine. But at the moment, my body looks a little bit, in my opinion, um, like it's been a bit neglected of strength, if that makes sense. Which is fine, because obviously like we've all been through this situation, I'm not beating myself up for that, but I am obviously, I'm personal training, I'm trying to get my balance back with food and exercise and I know that without any, without putting any pressure on myself to diet or anything like that, which I will never ever do, I know that the dress will fit me in four months time. If it doesn't fit me, I have a fitting in March, if it doesn't fit me by the end of March, I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. And it's weird because some people will say, so you are trying to fit into a dress and that, and Honestly, like that's not what this is. There are so many other factors to consider when deciding to just stick with the dress I've got and go ahead with like with it and, and, and I think it will be fine and I know my body as well. My body is obviously always changing and whatever, but I am working really hard to get my balance back with food and exercise. And I know that when my balance is there with food and exercise, my body is more sculpted than what it looks like right now. Whether that means in 2020 I had a sculpted size 12 body and in 2022 I have a sculpted 16 body, whatever. Like, I'm just aware that I want my body to look a little bit more um, toned. And there's nothing wrong with that because that, you know, my confidence, my confidence isn't affected in the meantime. Um, I don't have to have the energy, I don't have to find the energy to go and find a new dress. I don't have to, you know, worry about how I'm gonna sell a dress that's like sentimental for a few reasons. There's loads of different things attached to my deciding that, my decision that like it will just be fine and we'll just, like I'm sure it'll be all right. So that's kind of where we're at. I feel a bit relieved because I know that, you know, if it comes to March and it doesn't fit, then okay, we're in a different situation and we are just gonna have to go and find another dress because I don't think my dress can be taken out. And I can't just go and order it in a new size either because my dress is a pre-2019 collection. So it's like, it doesn't even exist anymore. So that's where we're at. With four months to go, I am deciding to just hope that it will all fall into place rather than freaking out, trying to find a new dress, um, all of those things. So that's kind of where I'm at. And I feel in a good headspace about that because I said before I went in, I do not want to have to force myself to fit into a dress. And when I was thinking like that, I was thinking like to lose two dress sizes, you know? Um, and that's not where I am with it. And it's difficult for me to have this kind of honest conversation on social media because I think anti-diet culture and self-love and all of those things are such like nuanced subjects and people think that just because I will never go on a diet again and don't care that how my body looks at the forefront of every thought that that's just it's as black and white as that and, it, and it's not it's a very like up and down I don't know like constantly learning situation but yeah I will take you with me in March because I know that when I go in March, I'll be a lot less nervous and show you Connie's studio because it is absolutely stunning. In your uh, YouTube, life. in your life, say hello. Hey, how's it going? Are you excited for the day? I literally woke up this morning about quarter past six and as I woke up, I immediately just got a hit of like, ah, legend, what a day we're going to have. Yeah, do you know what? Me too, because as you are probably fully aware, I know the vlog is fully aware and you are fully aware having driven me down here for three hours that yesterday wasn't my favorite day. 
I wasn't in the bestest mood just then. Ah. Oh fuck, where are you going? Oh okay, yeah. I'm following the road. I know, but one of these roads you can't come down. Yeah, you I, know. Get... I know Blunder like the back of my hand. <laughs> Yesterday wasn't a good day, but today I woke up and I saw blue sky. Did you see blue sky? Missed the blue sky. Well, I didn't actually. It was orange and it was beautiful oh, with yeah. uh, the skyline of London. And I was like, I might come and move it. The skyline of Finsbury Park. Is this not? Is it not London? Well, it's exciting for me the fact that I wake up normally and I see a hedge. <laughs> um, so we're just. Oh we. Oh wow. Are we going down a one-way street? Well, no, but you could drive. You, I think you could drive better than you are driving. What? <laughs> we're we're just on our way to the studio now, which is a 20-minute drive, even though it's only two miles away. And did you have a coffee at breakfast? I had a coffee and I had a croissant, and I chatted to them, and they were very lovely. Did you tell them where you're from? And yeah, I did actually. <laughs> He had a jazzy camera taking a photo of the bread rolls. I said, Ah, oh, God. Hi. do you know me? <laughs> Have you seen my work? Did you get your camera out? Yeah, no, I didn't have That's it. I bought my laptop with it. Oh, God. Uh, very noisy, back in London. And I've just popped to Pratt to get some breakfast because I am bloody starving today. Is this the right way? Yes. And I've missed my five berry pot and cross on Pratt Friday breakfast. It's bloody freezing, is what it is. Want to do a little studio filming? Isn't this studio amazing? This is what I want to film. The dream, isn't it? We are going to film the whole of the next series in this in this studio. Oh, I reckon I can get a good picture here later. We've gone for Burger and Beyond. In here we have napkins. We have, whoa! <laughs> These are potato tops with hot sauce and parmesan. And then we've got fries. Oh, chicken bites. Oh my. And Dan's fries. Well, they look like good fries, don't they? Salty. Let's go. Look at that, look at the shine on her. Isn't she lovely? Time is five o'clock. We're waiting for our second and last guest. Not last of the series, last of the day. You enjoyed it? It's been a fun on one all day. Mm. What's been the highlight of your day? Apart from spending it with me. the time with you. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, any moment I can spend extra time with Sasha is time well spent, I say. That's what I say, really, normally. Time with Sasha is... It flies. <laughs> Sasha is the annoying one out of us two. I'll take that, because my cars have stayed in. It was quite good. For guest one, we had a red lip. For guest two, we're going for an orange eye. As I, I was the final say, wasn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just, um, like, let me know if you want a hair tutorial. I'm just editing back this vlog and I realized that I didn't finish it. And I find it really annoying when I'm watching a vlog and this happens. So I'm sorry. The first vlog of Feb is being filmed with new energy. Sending loads of love to you if you found Jan January a slog as well. And once again, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.